They hit the wire in the marathon. Muhanak held on. Free Eagle shows in front. The Grey Gatsby is closing with every single stride. Free Eagle just driving for the Grey Gatsby. Fascinating one for the exit for the Kipka Champions State. For the movement from Zappa. Field sent on their mile and one half journey. Buya, the long shot, intent on getting the early lead. As Zappa, though, those two now going to go on to dispute it early. Cedar Mountain is tucking back to race in the third spot. Just in behind that comes Muhannock, and 60's icon is taken back towards the rear with delightful kiss, the grey at the rail. They're spreading out over a lot of ground here. And at the back, we have Church Service and Big Booster, a good 14 off this leader. They come into the top of the stretch first time round, and as expected, the long shot Buya has now opened up to lead it by three lengths, not in any hurry at all. Zapper is quite content to just sit there in second. Cedar Mountain is a comfortable third. Muhannock has the red cap in fourth. Just behind those two, we have 60's Icon, who's now racing fifth. A good eight lengths off the leaders, then the grey, delightful kiss. Big Booster getting a little closer, and Church Service quite content to just lope along at the back. Ten lengths would cover them all. Past the stands now with one lap to go, and Buya just taking them along as slow as he can. He leads it now by just over a length, and Zappa is right there in the second spot. Cedar Mountain just cantering along in third. Muhannock is fourth. Now here's Frankie Dettori on 60's Icon. They're racing fifth, a good seven lengths off the leaders. Delightful kiss inside of that. Big Booster still second last, and Church Service hasn't taken a deep breath yet. Absolutely cantering at the back, 12 off the leader. They've covered half the journey in the Breeders' Cup Marathon now, and still Buya the favourite, but Zappa is now coming to put some pressure on him, and you can see them quicken now as they pass the 5.8s, and it looks like Zappa is going to kick on to lead them. Cedar Mountain is two lengths back in third, then Muhannock. In behind that, 60's Icon, who's still been patiently ridden. 60's Icon is seven off them. Delightful kiss at the rail. Big Booster is asked to pick it up, and Church Service is going to have to sprint from last. Now he's still 11 off them. Into the turn they go in the marathon, and it's Zapper on the far side, Buya at the rail. Cedar Mountain, Muhannock now, 60's Icon at the rail. Can he find a way through? 60's Icon, fuller run, let's see, he's being stopped right now. Big boost to delightful Kiss Church Service. They've changed dramatically at the top of the lane. Zapper on the inside. On the outside of that, we have Muhannock. Now 60's Icon switching out. Big Booster's in with a shot too. Homeward bound in the marathon. Muhannock now has Church Service from dead last down the center of the track. And Church Service is absolutely blind. Has to get to Muhannock. Muhannock but Church Service catching him stride for stride. They hit the wire in the marathon. Muhannock held on. Muhannock has won it ahead to Church Service. Big Booster. They're off. A race away, and Ecto is dropped in towards the rear of the field as Galo Chop, white sleeves, out to the right is the first one to go through. Criterion, a yellow jacket is chasing him through, and then Free Eagle with the red cap a length and a half behind those. And runs in third position. Western Him is next, Frankie Dottori, the dark blue sleeves, racing two or three off the running rail, making progress, followed by a green colours of the grey Gatsby, the light blue of Spielberg is next, a little free maybe in the early part of the race. The blue and yellow of Canuck Chase is next as they turn right-handed and begin the uphill run towards home. About seven furlongs to go. Ecto and the Corsican are the last couple of runners as Galo Chop moves down the side of the course, shows in front. He's about two lengths ahead of Criterion in second place. And then Free Eagle who continues to hold third with the Grey Gatsby in fourth position now, just edging ahead over Western Him. Behind those is Canuck Chase and Spielberg. They're followed through by the Corsican, and Ecto is the back marker. Just past halfway, and Galo Chop only by length now as Free Eagle has moved into second position. Criterion comes next. Frankie on the outer of the field, the dark blue sleeves on Western Him, then the Grey Gatsby. Canuck Chase is next as they begin the run towards the home trace to straight. Spielberg following Ecto, making progress on the outside of the Corsican. Every one of them with a chance in this great race as they move into the straight. Galo Chop continues to lead. Free Eagle moving into second. On the right is Western Him. In behind those, the Grey Gatsby. Criterion backing on against the running rail. Canuck Chase trying to get out. Spielberg's holding him in. The Grey Gatsby coming with a challenge. Free Eagle is leading as they head to the closing stages. Western Him is coming to join him. The Grey Gatsby is a length of them in third position. In behind those, Canuck Chase. But it's Free Eagle showing in front. The Grey Gatsby is trying to get to him and he's making progress. Free Eagle shows in front. The Grey Gatsby is closing with every single stride.
Gary Eagles just I think to the great Gatsby. Western here narrowly in third position from the Corsica. For the finish, photo finish. For the Kipco Champion Stakes, they're sent on their way. Ten furlongs the trip, Jack Hobbs just chased up early to see where he's going to slot in out wide maverick wave uh, racing solo at the moment jack hobbs is going forward air pilot moving forward and also the corsican in company with vadavos so sweeping in front of the field maverick wave william viewing trying to get onto that horse's quarters on jack hobbs with air pilot vadavos and up the inside the corsican as they make the turn racing history in sixth place palace prince just ahead of the gray sumbal as they prepare now to take the turn at the far end uh, dropping to midfield we have Sumbal with Vadamos uh, just ahead of that one now moving up into about third place racing Keeley Ribbons is towards the back with Tullius found is the overall back marker and also held up his lightning spear so Maverick Wave trying to break this field apart and Jack Hobbs has made the rail from that wide out gate and is the closest pursuer Vadamos not giving Jack Hobbs too much racing advantage in third place with the Corsican and Air Pilot Palace Prince lit up on the outside of racing history's white cat then behind these fascinating Rock Sumbal comes next. Ribbons has about three behind. Found is the overall back marker, just preceded by Tullius and Lightning Spear. Maverick Wave, Jack Hobbs in second place, breezing along in the all blue with the blue cap. Then Vadamos racing on the outside of the Corsican. Bit for air pilots as they make the turn, and Maverick Wave has done his job perfectly. Toe Jack Hobbs into the race, who's half a length away with William Buick poised to press the button. In third place, Vadamos on the outside of the Corsican, who peels off to have a crack. Then behind these racing history, Vardamos, Palace Prince down the outside. Jack Hobbs now moves to the front, pricks his ears, has a look around. The course of in second place, racing history air pilot. Behind these fascinating rock trying to run with a run. Also Rivers, Jack Hobbs idling a little bit out in front. Fascinating rock driving down the challenge. Air pilot as well. Then the course again, Jack Hobbs, besieged now by rivals. And fascinating rock has moved to the front. Fascinating rock from Jack Hobbs. Jack Hobbs, air pilot racing history, it's sixth place the Corsican and Tullius.